Hello everyone, welcome back to the Films and today's video we are going to be dipping our toe into the world of CGI on Blender. This is our very first video on uh, Blender and I'm very excited for it because I've been planning to do it for quite a while and I'm very excited to do it. Today I am going to be showing you a specific thing which involves planes, but this video actually will help you learn how to export things out of Blender, how to import things into Blender for anything you do, any new project in Blender, and how to put it into After Effects. So I hope this helps you. I'm very excited for this. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is get your shot and then go right into Blender. Okay, now that we're in Blender, I'm gonna start off by saying this is a beginner tutorial. So I'm not gonna do anything advanced. There's not gonna be any modeling in today's tutorial. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go, go, wanna go find a plane asset somewhere in a blend file. Uh, you can find those pretty much anywhere. I got mine from Turbo Squid. You can find them really anywhere again for free. You can pay for some really nice ones. But like I said, I'm gonna assume this is, this is a beginner tutorial. So I used a free one you can get from Turbo Squid. That you can find just by looking it up. Very easy to get. A few uh, buttons and there you go. You have it ready and your downloads. And that's where we're at now. Now what you're gonna want to do is go to go to File, Append, and go to Downloads and you're gonna to wanna to get your plane. So this is mine, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna click it, you're gonna press append, you're gonna press object, append, press any one of the things that pop up here and press A, and you're gonna to wanna to press append again, and there you go. Mine kinda of came out with some stuff here, so I'm just gonna delete these. To delete stuff, you press on it, then you press X and delete. Now yours, if you press either one of these buttons, you might have color. The one I got, well, let's just say it's a little messed up on color, so I'm gonna fix that. If you have the, now, some of these may have the same problem. So because of how the tutorial I am doing today doesn't really involve any close-ups of the plane, I'm not gonna really worry about the color as much as I usually would. Now I'm gonna assume you're doing the same type of clip as I'm doing, the kind of far out shot of a plane. If you're doing a close-up, I recommend making sure you get a plane that does already come with color. Or if you're pretty good with colors, which like I said, beginning tutorial, but assuming this is something you actually worked on and or are working on, practice the coloring of how you, you know mess with objects. Now, I'm gonna assume you're a beginner to this and don't know how to do that. So, yeah. so right now, the easiest way to color anything is you press on the object, you're gonna go down here, press use nodes, base color, you can just kinda mess with it. I guess I'll go red and just kinda mess with it. My plane is a pretty good basic plane, as you can see here. Yeah, it's pretty good for a far shot. I'm not gonna get any closer than I need to show any really just insane details. That's not really what I'm doing here. So what we're gonna do now is I think it's time to get the camera. So just add down here to camera and press that. Press the move up here. I'm gonna drag it out and look at it real quick. Okay. I'm gonna kind of mess with the rotation because it's off just a little bit. Here's maybe as well. And you go in. And this is what you get the, the finder here. Now, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make your clip a downloadable clip. Put it in your downloads. In order to do that, you can go to export it out of After Effects or any other way to make a clip and put it in your downloads. You're gonna want to rename it, make it easy to find because what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go to your camera. You're gonna go down to the camera, you're gonna press background images, add image, we're gonna movie clip, press open, you're gonna press downloads, and then you're gonna find your clip. An open clip. Now if you go inside of your uh, camera, you'll see your kit, a clip play through. So this is what we want. Okay. Now we have the plane that is obviously, you know, not very not really fitting into this thing quite correctly, so I'm gonna actually move this out of the way for now. Just slide on out of there, okay. So now what we're gonna want later to really show the realism is shadows. In order to show shadows, we're gonna wanna have to do something that is not really advanced, it just, it's gonna take a bit. Okay, so we're gonna go up here, add, mesh, and plane. And I'm gonna kind of expand this out pretty decent bit. Make sure, I'm gonna make sure I'm right in the viewfinder. Make sure we're good on this because you know make sure it's kind of just shaped up because right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shape this plane 
to basically fit the level of the ground, okay? Because I want to show the shadows of the plane on the ground as best as I can. Because, like I said, it's not going to get really close, but it will get decently close, so I think you'll be able to see uh, the shadow. So I'm going to set it up like this. Probably thinking, this is covering up everything. You're going to see this in the scene. Don't worry, we're going to fix all of that later. Now, right now, we need to work on the plane again. So my plane, based on my shot, will be coming in from uh, this angle, coming in this direction. So probably from behind that tree. So I'm going to probably actually need to move this out a little bit or make it smaller. Either one really works. I'm just going to probably scale this down just a little bit. By a little bit, I mean probably actually a lot. I need to see, go through in camera. This is why it's really good to have this in camera thing so you can just go in, see how it's going to look. Because if you don't, you try to guess, it never really turns out. So this always helps. All right, I'm trying to set that shit in your scene as best as you can. Pretty good at doing it smaller. I want it to be smaller coming in into the frame. I think that's pretty good right there. That's pretty good. Okay. So I'm actually gonna move it out of frame because I want it to be in frame when I start. Because it'll start back here. It's not in just yet. Okay. Now, I'm gonna make a sun. So you're gonna go up to add light. And you're gonna go to sun. Of course, just put that up there. And there you go. That's kinda how the world will look more. You don't, of course, mess with the, how much the sun, you know, the sun actually produces, how much light. Now, for my shot, I've kind of realized it's kind of grayish outside. It's not really, you know, bright. But this plane is pretty bright. So, that will be for color grading. Uh, you may notice that. You may be able to color it a little bit if you want in Blender. But I would recommend waiting to the color grading portion of this video. Because that is where, it's, I think, the blend stuff, no pun intended, the blend stuff better together and some of the color grading so we'll wait on that now it's time to rig what you're going to want to do just do keyframes and you're going to want to press this the auto key and i want to move this so it starts that keyframe this plane is right there now if i move all the way to let's say here i'm going to drag this like this now if i go back and play it it'll automatically move I wanted to go longer, I can move it out like this. Which that's for my thing, I probably would actually want to go you know, like out of here. Pretty good. And probably actually start later. And we'll cut in like this. Now, so we gonna have that general move here. But we'll at the end more back here because of it set out. Now of course, the plane is not going to move like that without moving its wings or anything like that. So we're going to have to fix that as well. Look into the plane here. Now that we have the movement, we have to really look at that. So the plane will start to go like this. And kind of cuts in. So probably about here. Wings start to turn. And maybe he starts to turn again. About right here so there we go pretty basic movement for this for the plane yo so now actually now that i've realized the how this plane is going to move it probably this probably actually needs to go out just a little further we're going to need to make this into a shadow catcher so shadow catcher in order to make it a shadow catcher what we're going to have to do is let me first turn off the auto king because we already have everything keyed really so now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to go up here to uh, oh there it is okay we're gonna want to go to scene click where it says EV and go to cycles now you're gonna want to click your plane and go over here to object properties you're gonna want to go to visibility press shadow catcher now if I actually go over here you should be able to see that it is casting a shadow and the plane is totally invisible. Now the shadow is working for some reason is the shadows all the way down there because I think how I kind of made this I made the plane a little too low now we're going to go down 
to where it says TMP here. And you're going to want to click. I'm going to click download because that's where I want my video to go. Now you're going to want to go over here to the render properties. And you want to go down to film and click transparent. There you go. So this is what it's pretty much going to look like. It's going to be, of course, less pixelated like that. Okay, now that we're finished, we're going to go up here and click render and click render animation. Now this is going to take a little bit to do. So I would probably just say leave your computer sitting on while it's doing it. saying it may take a while and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, once your animation is done rendering, now we're going to go into After Effects and you're going to New Conference Footage and then you're going to go get your clip. Now you're going to go up here to File, Import, and Multiple Files. You're going to go to Downloads and you're going to click the first photo of the sequence. Make sure PG in Sequence is checked right here and then Open. Now you're going to drag and drop it over the footage. Now I'll play over it. This is what we got to work with. All right. Okay. So first, I think obviously we need to rename everything. So I'm gonna, oh, we're gonna rename this. I'm gonna rename this as the plane. And now we're gonna rename this as the, I guess the, the actor shot. All right. Now one of the main things we're gonna have to do is we are gonna have to make this plane go behind this street. And luckily, I looked out with a great sky today. Just perfectly just it's just white no blue and white and that's not too bright there's not anything behind it so it's really good to do this if you have stuff behind it it may be a little bit more difficult to do but what you're going to, need to do first is you are going to need to duplicate your actor shot by holding command d drag the, the duplicated layer over your plane layer go to effects and presets type in key light drag this one here on that layer get this little drop tool and click the sky and now if you look the plane kind of goes back there it's hard to see so I would raise the screen gain up just as much as it looks good to you screen balance mess just mess the things so you get it that one looks pretty good to me I like that one it's pretty good all right so that's pretty good that kind of that works I actually like that all right that's good okay now what you're gonna want to go do is you're gonna want to get a photo of a cloud with a black background just trust me okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a cloud up here to make it look the plane is coming out of a cloud instead of just kind of emerging it kind of puts it in the scene more and you don't have to get some fancy cloud photo high quality whatever just pull one off of Google I'm gonna be honest okay all right now that you got your cloud photo you're gonna drag it onto your scene and kind of scale it to how you want it. Now, what you're going to want to get rid of this black background is you're going to want to click on it. You're going to want to go to blending mode and press screen. There you go. Now, I'm going to rename this, by the way, to cloud. Okay. Now, I'm going to scale and kind of reposition it. So, I apply the curves effect because my cloud like this looked way too white and too bright for the scene. So, what I did is I made it look a lot darker and a lot more just, it looks just looks more like it's part of the scene. Now, what I'm going to want to do, or you don't have to do this, but you could, it always works. Next, what we need is some color grading. So you're going to get all of these, and you're going to click on all of them, and you're going to press pre-compose, press plane, scene. All right. Effects and presets, types and curves. Now, drag and drop. Okay. This curves is probably, you know, my favorite way to color crack stuff so I'm gonna get this right so when it comes to color grading it really depends how your shot looks so when I'm doing this you can be doing yours but they're gonna come out differently of course because how I need my shot to look will be quite different than yours This is my color grade. This is what I got. Now, if you want to have some camera shake, expand the scene just a little bit. You're going to go to effects and presets and type in transform. Drag and drop, go to position, click on it and click this option at the same time. And you open up this, go down to here, type in wiggle, open parentheses, two comma four, closed 
and if I play this back, it seems to shake a little bit, adds everything together, it fits in all real nice, and there you go, that is the scene. But that's it y'all, thank you all so much for watching today's video, hope you all liked it and I hope it helped. I do want to do some more CGI tutorials in the future, I'm really looking forward to those. But anyway y'all, that is it, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.